everybody, my name is Isque. The music that I do, it's a blend of different styles. I would say it's trip hop, it's alternative R&B, you have some roots in hip hop, you have some jazz, you have kind of have a, a mix of everything in there. My dad was really eclectic with the music that he brought into our house and was always really encouraging of us to to do the same and to broaden our horizons and listen to things from different genres. And I think that that really helped in shaping my style and not feel hesitant to embrace that I like different genres and not feel that I need to be stuck in one specific genre. I started doing my makeup one time. I, I did it one time and I felt this really massive shift in how I performed. I felt like I felt like I found a piece of my spirit that had been kind of quiet and, and tucked aside. And when I put that makeup on, it wasn't that I felt like I was hiding behind something. I felt like I was actually much more forward and much more present and involved in what I was giving. And, um, and so it's something that I immediately continue to incorporate into my performances. One of them, for instance, is a look where I have half of my face done in my interpretation of facial tattooing. And the other half of my face is like very blown out, blown up kind of glam makeup. And then I have, I beaded the word isque onto a little piece of beadwork and I covered my mouth with that. And the reason I did that was to kind of show my frustration with the limitations that I feel coming at me, which I ignore, with regards to culture and femininity, or gender I should say, because um, isque means woman in Cree, and you know, the beadwork is a link to my culture, and by placing that over my mouth it just is my, you know, my expression of showing that frustration of being limited or silenced by culture and gender. I think there's a lot to be acknowledged when it comes to how people are choosing to display culture in their art. Sometimes I'll sample in like big drums or for instance I'll even sample in a boron which is an Irish drum, a Celtic drum. My, my uh, dad's family's from Ireland and those sounds are in there but they're not obvious and for me the reflection on culture and identity comes from the fact that all of the songs that I write and perform are experiences that I've had, be it firsthand or through conversation with friends or loved ones or observations, but it's all through my eyes. And I'm an indigenous person, I'm an Irish person, so therefore the music that I'm putting out is indigenous and Irish, right? Because that's what I am. My first album was very much about relationships and jobs and, and working in the entertainment business and that sort of thing. Whereas this next album is far more political than the first one. I talk a lot about issues affecting my community. One of the issues that I talk about a couple of times, I have a few songs on the album, is on the issue of missing and murdered women. It was coming home to Winnipeg last summer and experiencing the loss of one of our young community members, Tina Fontaine. And and watching how that impacted my community and how my community came together. So I wrote a, a, a song, it's called Will I See. Um, the first verse is my talking to the women who've passed on or who've left us or whose voices we don't hear anymore. And the second verse is my interpretation of them speaking back to us. I also have another song on the album on the same topic which is called Nobody Knows and that song um, I recorded with two guys from the Darcy's, which is a, a Toronto band. So I wrote this song with them out of frustration, where we talk about um, not being silenced anymore, or silenced anymore, not being quiet anymore. I won't let you look away, you know, that sort of thing. So these are the kinds of conversations that um, I'm starting to shift into on this next record. Isque and you are watching Digital Drum. 